Oh, you kicked off. God damn camera. I thought that was a good spot. <laughs> What is up, YouTube? The old Bayside Angler, Brian Katona here, back with another Bayside fishing adventure. Uh, today, we're going to be doing some of the same things we've been doing. I'm going to give the um, yum Mr. Twister Grub a try on that little jig head and a float. Uh, I am going to try the shallow diving uh, crankbait or rattle trap. And because we've had some good success, I'm going to be trying the Whopper Plopper as it gets a little darker in several of the Bayside ponds. Lots of fun uh, if there is anything striking the top water, and we'll see what happens. In any event, I'll be back at the end with a recap. Uh, but before we do, a couple things. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Always consider subscribing down below. You know the BA himself is up on Instagram. And most importantly, today's episode is brought to you by our sponsor, CK Productions, LLC. This episode is brought to you by Corey Katona and CK Productions for all your audio and voiceover needs. Visit www.coreykatona.com for more information. That's www.coreykatona.com. Peter, is that you? I thought that was. All right, so I got to We got a guest here. We've got my friend Peter here down at Bayside. We are we are the fishermen, and he sees my setup here and wanted to know how I actually did this. So let's see if we can if the old BA can catch something. I'm trying to see how it's done by an expert. Right, right there. Now, that was quick. Right there. Oh One goodness. cast. Now, I think this is probably a sunfish, but there's a school of crappie in there. Because I, I, this is this is probably the smallest one I've got on a, on a, as a bluegill. I got some well well over a pound. That is a riot. Oh, oh, yeah. That is so cool. Yeah. And, and again, this is relatively light tackle. Yeah. So, 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 and I have the drag set lightly because sometimes you just never know that a bass is going to hit this. So... A, a one pound crappie will take it and pull this thing. I, I've only got six pound test on here. I have, uh, this is a nice light rod. And uh, I was thinking about there. throwing some, uh, a, a worm, like, like, like kind of like you got on too, but. Well, actually I was going to go with a, a Senko, uh -huh. but uh, I'm being called back for happy hour. That is, being called back for happy hour is critical. Oh yeah. That is, that is very important. So, I mean, uh, it looks, I, I'm, I'm waiting for them to put, oh. There you go. But you get it. This is, this is. Hey, listen, you're catching fish. That people, people, people laughing. But look at, look at, look at these things jumping around. And you know what? Sunfish put up a hell of a fight. Pound for pound, it's amazing. Yeah. These guys are wonderful, and I love catching crappie. I, oh, I got, I, I got three that were ten plus inches today. Really? Right here. Oh my I haven't moved. This is. This, I literally haven't moved. I came here and I started casting, and and this is it. I haven't, got, I haven't moved yet. No. Yeah, I mean, you, the, catching panfish this size is a lot of fun. All right. All right, Peter, enjoy happy hour. All right, so that jump. Two jumps. Three jumps on the whopper flopper. Oh, we need your picture. Yeah, you've been caught before too, I can see that.
You guys can see where he was cut before. That's a nice bass. Double hook though. Oh, that's gonna be tough. I'll get you out of the mouth. Mm. Got you in the gill. That's gonna be a tougher one to get out. This is it. You may not make it. Okay, that's one. Just gently work these out. Two. Three. That's the way to end the day. Oh, look at the size of I may have to throw that out again. Look at the size of that crappy. That's about a nice, that's a nice 11 inch crappie. Nice fish. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, I got a freaking turtle. Oh, no, you don't. I got a snapping turtle. Okay, I got it. This is a decent, well, whatever this is. Okay. Somebody got the whopper plopper at least. <laughs> right in the mouth. Okay. That's a good fish. Oh, that's a good one on the, on the whopper flopper. Oh. 
Oh, baby. Look at you. Nice one. That's about a four pounder. Right here. I'm going to get, I got to retrieve this guy. That's my whopper plopper. Ho oh, ho! I got it back! That's success! That's success! Ah, you popped off, but that's okay. Try to get your muscle you out of there. Oh, got a puller. I'm you. Yeah, well, better than nothing. You were. Wow, another one. Yep, yeah, this one's uh. More like a pumpkin seed. Nah. <laughs> Well guys, hope you liked that Bayside fishing adventure. If you did, give us a thumbs up. We had a couple of different things. Uh, the grub was successful with panfish. Uh, some of those lovely bluegill, uh, sunfish, and some of those really nice crappie. Didn't happen to get any bass on that. You did get to meet another Bayside angler, my friend Peter. Uh, we always like to trade fishing stories and fishing yarns. He's a better fisherman than I am, uh, so don't let his exa irrational exuberance about my success uh, dissuade you. He's a better fisherman than I. And you did see that Whopper Plopper be successful in several of the ponds, and that's always fun. Love catching the bass on top water. In any event, hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll be back again soon with another Bayside Fishing Adventure.